Welcome to the series of live project implementation by Bharti DW Consultancy. This is the video number seven of the series. In this, we are going to talk about how to create the framework manager model for the database we spoke about in the previous videos. So as you are aware that the database we are going to use is sales DB new in order to get the framework manager it has to be installed on the developers machine go to the start menu and get the Cognos framework manager if it's not installed first install it and for configuration talk to your admin it's so coming back this is the framework manager click on create a new project it's going to give you this screen type a name bdcs sales model bharti dw consultancy services sales model you can see that it's creating a dot cpf file cpf means the cognos project file it's creating a project select the language english this option is to select any metadata sources. Cognos can use these many sources. For now, we are going to select data sources. Remember, in the previous video, we created BDCS sales new database. We will select that and we'll click on next. This gonna list out all the tables available in this database. So these are the tables we have in this database. For now, we are gonna bring decal, which is calendar table, decust, deprod, and f sales. The calendar customer product and f sales and we are not gonna bring customer type category sale type stat and f shipment as of now click on next this screen tells you that cognos can understand and detect relationships from the database which we don't want we want to create our own joints so we are going to unselect it and this would mean that the tables once imported would not have any joins nothing click on import and this is going to import the metadata for the tables the tables in cognos are known as query subject and you can see the count as four click on finish and you would be taken to a page in the framework manager which gives you four or five different screens the top one is menu on the left hand side is the project viewer it shows what the tables we brought in the data sources we used there are no parameter maps and no packages created yet this is your screen which has the same kind of stuff but we'll talk about it later this is properties on the far right it's a tools menu in order to hide or display there's a toggle button for tools there is this for properties and this button is for project viewer so we are gonna keep like this and we are going to create 
three namespaces. So first namespace is for database. Second namespace is for business layer. And the third namespace is for the presentation layer. These are the namespaces created directly under BDCS sales new database. The database layer would have all the tables slash views or any objects you bring in directly from the database. I'm going to select all the tables we brought in earlier and I'm going to drag and drop onto the database layer. I'll end this video here. After this, we are going to have videos on how to set up the usage properties. We are going to talk about that. Then we are going to talk about how to create joints between these tables. And then we will model our structure and publish this for our reporting purposes. Keep watching this series. And again, don't hesitate to email bharti.dwconsultancy.com if you need the database which is available for this reporting. Thank you.